What we're going to do now is uh, talk to Di, who is a diabetic, on the actual kit that she's using, how she would t test her blood sugar and the sort of intervals. So Di, can you show us the kit that you're actually using? Yeah. You'd always carry that kit with you, would you? Pretty much so, yeah. 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 And how regularly would you test your blood? Um, I do mine a couple of times a day. First thing in the morning and uh, sometimes during the evening after evening meal. And then other diabetics would have different patterns according to them? They would, depending on how much insulin they have to take. Mm. And in an emergency situation, you would maybe do it again if you start oh, to yes, feel unwell? Oh yes, yeah, unwell. if I start to feel unwell, I would grab right. it and do another one. Can you show us the components for your, your kit? Yeah. In here are the testing strips, which come like that. And that bit goes into the top there. Then you take your needle, prime it, and then click. And then the blood comes out. And you lay that on there until that strip is absolutely filled. And then just wait for it to register on the screen. So that's showing your sugar levels are now 5.1 which is pretty good and then you all can also register whether it's after before a meal or after a meal because it does make a difference uh, if you're low before a meal then that's fine if you're that after a meal then that is a little bit low it needs to go up a little bit more and before it comes down again would you store data on this as well yes so the doctors would you download that and keep that or is it you, just if you need it you can do you can download it um, I don't think this particular model you can, but some of them you can plug into your computer and keep keep a track on that. But this stores the information, so you can go to your doctor and show them. So from a first aid or emergency perspective, we could look at the previous ratings you could. Had, maybe even for the last week or whatever. Yep, absolutely. And see what's what. Absolutely. And then you've got the results log. That will show you the one I've just done. And that was at 20 past seven this morning when I got up. Mm and then you can scroll down for weeks. So in an emergency situation we might do this slightly different because the responder has got the blood sugar tester but they would need independent um, lances to actually take the blood. So they'd use uh, a lance like this which you can prime and pop on the finger and take the blood. Once you've dealt with this you can dispose of it correctly in the hazardous waste. With Di, she would the tester is just for her. So yeah. at the end of when you need to dispose of stuff and change the needles, would you how would you then dispose of those? I've got I've got one of the hazardous boxes at home that I put it in. Yeah. When that's full, take it to the chemist and they give you a new one. Yeah. So it's very similar to that with the first aid side that we would put our rubbish in the hazardous waste and then uh, we can dispose of it correctly and safely. This is one type of pricking device. There's lots of different types, and also there's lots of different brands of uh, blood sugar testers. So make sure you read the instructions and follow them very clearly.